Backing up your Oracle Java Cloud Service instance ensures data integrity and security. Java Cloud Service provides two mechanisms for backing up your data, on-demand and scheduled. You can configure regularly scheduled backups to occur at preset times and backup pre-selected data. Or you can initiate a backup on-demand, which is useful after making major changes to your service instance. I'm going to show you how to do both of these procedures and then how to restore an instance from a previous backup. If not done when your instance was provisioned, you'll first need to enable backups. Navigate to the service instance which needs backups enabled. From the navigation menu, select Services and then Java. Then click the instance name. From the Manage Backups for this service menu, select Enable Backups. In the Enable Backups dialog, enter the URL to your storage container, followed by your username and password. Select Create Cloud Storage Container and then click Enable Backups. After a moment, Java Cloud Service will enable backups for the current instance. Given the need to regularly backup a service instance, I recommend configuring when automated backups are initiated, where older backups are stored, and how long backups are retained. To configure backups, select Administration, then the Backup tab. And from the Manage Backups menu, select Configure Backups. Full backups contain binary files and configuration. I want to configure this for Wednesdays at 7 a.m. UTC, which in my location, because we're on a 24-hour clock, is in the middle of the night and when the load on my instance should be low. By default, full backups are initiated once a week beginning 12 hours after the instance was created. Next, I want to configure an incremental backup, which contains only configuration files, and again by default occurs daily except the day that the full backup occurs. I'll configure this backup to start at 7 a.m. Universal Time. I want to use my default Oracle Storage Cloud service to store backups that are more than seven days old. Incidentally, full backups are always retained until their last incremental backup is no longer available. And finally, I'll have the backup retained for 30 days. The backup is now scheduled to occur weekly at the designated time. Now let's say I just made a major change to my instance. Perhaps I made configuration changes that I might need to undo or is about to deploy an application, or have just deployed that application. In these and similar circumstances, I should do an immediate or on-demand backup. As with automated backups, I'll create the on-demand backup from the Instances Backup page. I don't have a database to include in my backup. Since I expect to make another major change within the month, I don't need to keep this backup longer than the default retention period of 30 days. Finally, I'll add a short note describing the backup. This backup might take several minutes to complete. During this time, Java Cloud Service enters maintenance mode, and I can't perform any other management operations on the service instance. When the backup is complete, it appears here on the list of available backups. There might be occasions when I need to restore the instance to a particular state or recover the instance after a loss of data. As with scheduling a backup or creating one on demand, I'll launch this restore process from the backups page. To help identify which backup to restore the service instance from, the backup page provides detailed information about each existing backup. Backup information includes such data as when was it created, whether it was a full or incremental backup, its retention date, what's in the backup, that is, does it contain both configuration and database files, and any notes that were added when the backup was created. After I locate the backup I want to restore, I start the restore process. I select to restore the binary files for WebLogic Server and the JDK to the current patch set unit level. Then add a short note. I confirm what I want to restore. This indicates that the restore process is underway. The process might take several minutes to complete, during which time, the Java Cloud Service instance is in maintenance mode, which means I won't be able to perform any other management operations. After I refresh the screen, I see that the restore is complete, as indicated here in the History section of the Backups page. If for whatever reason I want to disable backups, I can do so from the Manage Backups for this service menu. I select Disable Backups, and when prompted, Confirm. 
For more information about any aspect of Oracle Java Cloud Service, visit us online at cloud.oracle.com, the Oracle Learning Library, or the Java Cloud Service Help Center. Thanks for watching.